Hello friends, um, this is going to be a three-part series called Voices of Epilepsy. So my friends um, Tabs and Layla, uh, we were all in a, a voice chat on Discord and we basically just talked about uh, the silver linings of epilepsy. So basically just like the positives that we have not really faced. Uh, like the positives that we've un uncovered throughout our journey of uh, epilepsy. So, whoop, transition into our voice chat, and I hope you enjoy our three-part series. Okay, good. All of us can hear each other. Hello? I said, okay, good. All of us can hear each other. Oh, yeah. So we're basically basically going to be saying the same things that we said last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember oh. what I said. <laughs> basically. Oh but we have a better setup, which is pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I have... Alexa, turn on the lights. Whoa, flexer. Miss Shut Alexa. <laughs> Miss Alexa turning on the lights. I'm going to be setting up my uniform for uh, tomorrow while we do this. I have too many. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, we're not. We're just going to go one through five. One through five? Okay. Yep. So, this is our three part um, mini series for the voices of epilepsy with Tabs and Layla. Hello. And these okay. are the positives of epilepsy, so the silver linings. So should we just jump into it? Yeah. Alrighty. I don't see why not. Boom, boom, boom. Number one. No fake people. We're surrounded by those who wish to be there. And... Yeah, Epilepsy definitely like gets rid of all the fake people in your life that you had before because they just either just don't want to deal with you at that point or they're just like scared of you, scared of you, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that way. It really is. Yeah, like once I was like diagnosed with epilepsy, all my quote-unquote fr friends that I thought were kind of genuine just left. Yeah, they kind of just, like, ghost you. Yeah, they ghost you, they leave you, but then the people who, like, truly mattered, I guess, in my life stayed. They stayed. Yeah, and those are the people who I, like, keep in, keep in contact with, and those are the people who are, like, really in my support system slash like support group uh -huh. and yeah that, that's what it's i really the people that, that, that want to stay by you no matter what happens yeah like they like genuinely care for you yeah and even if something weird happens they're still there mm -hmm. that back-to-back -back seizure thing that i told last time that was the best example i have of that like one of my best friends she watched me have two seizures back to back and not recover and she wanted to stay by me that's the kind of people you get exactly like i remember when i had my like public seizure and i was at work and i was working with my one of my really good friends and when i came to kind of she was like right there like right next to me like seeing if I was okay and I don't know it just showed me that she was one of those really really good quality friends instead of someone who would just run away and sometimes like when you are going through a grand mall you can see those people who are 
the runners, you know, because there are mm-hmm. the runners and then there are the people who will go to your rescue. The people that want to make sure you're okay, even though something bad happened. Yeah. And I've noticed a lot of runners during those, like, like 15 seconds before you black out. And uh, they kind of... You go to, like, 50% of them. They yeah. just leave. Yeah. Or they're, like, staring at you. They're just, like, staring. Yeah. Like, staring won't help any, I don't think. Yeah. No, staring's not going to do any good. But seriously, no fake people. And it's really amazing that we are surrounded by people who care about us. And I'm grateful that we are all surrounded by people who care about us. Like even That's with... the support system we need. Yeah. And it's cool, like, say, like, with my mom, she sends me links to um, other, like, blo- like, epilepsy blogs. Like, she's doing her research. And, like, with you, Layla, your dad is, like, doing his research on, like, different diets. And I'm sure yeah. your family, Tabs, is doing their research on epilepsy as well. And it's it's pretty yeah. awesome. My cousin told me when she came over that she, she would, she's not afraid to tell people I have epilepsy she told me that she told her boyfriend when I went six months seizure free that she was so proud of me she said my cousin my favorite cousin has epilepsy and I am so proud of her for going six months seizure free wow it's not they're not ashamed of you or scared of you not really they're happy for you when something good happens and they want to be there yeah they want to uh, watch you succeed, and they want to like be there when you succeed. Yeah. Alrighty, number two, um, value life and the small thing. Uh, you value life and the small things more. For example, uh, swimming safely and driving, etc. Yeah, I think driving has been a really big part for me because. I am definitely supposed to ha- be having my, at least my driver's permit by now, but I don't because I've got epilepsy and that kind of can't happen when you're not seizure free for X amount of time. Yeah. So it's kind of uh, like put me on a setback, but I'm working my way through it. You'll get there. You'll get there, Layla. Yeah. Like... I know when I first got like behind the wheel, I was like super, super anxious. But then once I started driving a little more, it got better. But it's true, like you value those moments. Like right now I'm valuing every single drive that I'm taking because I don't know how long it's going to last, you know? Yeah. And it's just, it's free. It's such a small thing, but... And everyone takes for granted, but you get so excited when you finally get to the point where you can do it. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Or even granted like, anymore. Like video games. Like so I'll play video games for maybe just like an hour because I don't want to, or even like thirty minutes because I don't want to like over overwhelm my brain. But just like those little things. Like, I know people, like, game for, like, 16 hours and go crazy, because I used to be that way. Yeah. But now I just kind of enjoy the game, and it's really exciting. And even swimming, like, right, I haven't really, I haven't swam yet, but I hope I get there. I hope I'm comfortable enough to go swimming again. Same. I have, but I'm also a little more stable than probably both of you, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It took a while to get to that point. Again, both of you are going to get there. Yeah. I think 
epilepsy is just like a journey yeah like the beginning stages is just like super brutal and then you kind of get a little more stable and then you learn a little more and it's just it's just all learning really learning how to adapt to a new uh life situation yeah limits like limiting yourself and not overwhelming your brain and all that stuff Yeah. And then... That just all of that just kind of leads into mm-hmm. number three. Don't take every day for granted, but for what it's worth. Very true. All those things that you wouldn't think twice about normally, or before you developed epilepsy, you're just like you relish in it now and you live every moment yeah you're gonna just like you don't know where it can change enjoy life a little more like i used to um how do i explain it uh i guess not even think twice about what kind of day i had it was kind of just like me getting through the day and now I kind of just experience what the day, like I enjoy looking at uh, like trees now. I stop and stare at the flowers or I stop mm-hmm. and stare at like bunnies or birds, like just nature, you know? Yeah. Because everything is just like so different and like beautiful in its own way. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at life in a completely different way. Yeah. Or even, like, you just do more random, random fun shit. Like, today, me, uh, Billy, or my little cousin and I, Billy, we... Shot eggs. Yeah, we shot eggs, like, spoiled Mm -hmm. eggs, and just threw them against the wall, and I really enjoyed that. That that was, like, a memory, like, a good awesome experience yeah. you should do that to all of your expired food <laughs> yeah. just throw it against yes, the wall you should. cause I'm sure you have more oh gosh we found bread <laughs> we found bread that was labeled April 9th 2019 I swear your entire house is filled with expired food it's not Carlos. my house it's not my house it was so hard the bread was so hard when was the last time you guys went grocery shopping uh, that's true since probably vietnam 1990 vietnam. or 1973 love that god yeah it's moments like this, like this right here, that yeah, you're just gonna remember. Yeah. Yep. You don't let life pass you by anymore. Mm-mm. That's pretty much number three. You don't just let it go by and not even pay attention to it. Yeah, because a lot of people. There's so many people that by. just go by their routine. They go to work and they come home and they make dinner and they, and they go to eat sleep and then go to sleep and then repeat yeah exactly yeah it's nice to mix it up every day yeah or at least try yeah yeah try at least i was gonna say something yeah, pretty dark but sad. you know i'm not gonna say that do it do it do it i'll tell you guys after the video oh all right um, okay, y'all want to move on to number four? Yeah. yeah. Alright, number four. We're stronger. We can handle more. As some people say, epilepsy makes you tough. I mean, that's uh, really fucking true. Because, wow, the things the things we go through. Yeah, we've been so, through so much BS. And it's just like nothing really... Nothing that would have 
like phased us, I guess, in the way before we got like before I loved the like took over our lives, basically, like they became a part of our lives. Yeah. None mm, of that stuff just... like affects us really anymore because we've been through all harder stuff. Get armor. You get some mental armor on you. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like the typical like daily struggles don't really yeah like you say like, Layla like st- yeah bothers bothers uh I'm not gonna say us because yeah. I'm not sure but it doesn't bother me anymore no you you learn how to deal with stuff like you know you can have another seizure anytime and you don't let that affect you because if you do, you'll just curl up in a ball and never do anything. You yeah. have to, yeah. yeah. Just have to keep on it. You have to figure things. out how to brace yourself for it. Yep, and that's what I. Yep, that's what we learn. Do you, Do you guys ever like tell yourself, just like brace yourself before you seize? Yeah, like almost every time. Yeah, well, I'm like, <laughs> I know this shit's gonna go down. Just brace yourself and... Yeah, there's nothing you could do to stop it. Just, yeah. like, get ready. Yeah, I tell myself that practically every morning because, as both of you know, I have no aura. I have no warnings. Yeah. I don't tell myself that before a seizure. I have to prepare myself every day. Because there's a chance every single day that I could be set back again. Yeah. That armor and then you face the world. That armor. Can I said it better? Seriously. <laughs> I really enjoy these talks. Me too. Me too. Like it doesn't even feel like an like a podcast. It just feels like a normal talk. <laughs> yeah, a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Layla, finish it off with number five. Okay. Life's not worth living if you're too afraid to live it. So that's okay. So that's Tabs wrote that. That's I'm. Is that like your quote? Your quote, Tabs. Yes, you wanted to quote me on, and Tabs. That's Tabs' view on fear and worry. While caution is a good thing for us, we can't let us. We can't let fear and worry stop us from living. We learn to work through and around it because we're given no choice but to do so. That is true. True, true, true. Life's not yeah, if you're, even if you're too afraid. If you're like, to go ahead. Oh no, I was just re, uh, rereading the quote. Oh. If you're like too afraid to live your life because of what could happen, then you won't ever get anything done you need to like break through the anxiety yeah you know, like it's not, a, empower it's yourself. not a life worth living if you're just gonna curl up in a ball because you're too afraid of what might happen next like oh I wanna never been to a real concert because they yeah. usually have strobe lights yeah but I found a way around that. There is a place where I live that has an amphitheater and tribute bands go there. So even though I haven't been to a concert with a famous singer and all that, I still get to go and experience it. And enjoy music. Yeah, I'm not going to let my epilepsy stop me from enjoying something I want to experience. I'm just going to find a new way to do it. And I'm sure both of you do the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, adapt to it. That's the best thing you can do. Yeah. And that's what epilepsy, like, teaches us. Like, we're just adapting, really. Basically. Just adapting and evolving. Just evolving as people. Evolving with how our brains are working now. And I think that's how most people with um, conditions live. Like, they just adapt with what they have. (laughs) But 
Yes. Life is life is exciting. A little more exciting. I mean, we're living life on hard. <laughs> on hard mode. <laughs> on, on hard hard mode, to say the least. Yeah. This has been... It makes you grow, though. It makes you learn how you are. Like, just... It just makes you, um... Changes you as a person. It makes you... Like, a little more open. I'm trying to figure out how to say it. I'm having trouble. No, you know how I feel. Yeah. I feel, I feel that. <laughs> that was like what you sent us uh, this morning, Tabs. Like the meds. Um, yeah. Fuck. Now I'm trying to figure out the words. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't find the right words. There you go. You both are finding, like, you guys... It just happened to me. I forgot what the word I was looking for. <laughs> it happened. Finding out my pain? No, it's, uh... Crap, what is it? It's okay. I'm trying to figure out like the you're, right... You're, like, feeling... Yeah, you, you're feeling my pain. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you're finding out my pain. <laughs> I mean, it's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. This is just one of the things you have to adapt to. And... Hey, good for all of us. We're doing it with humor. Yeah. Seriously. And I think that's in the second episode. Or or third episode of this podcast. Probably both. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably end up laughing in both. Just yeah. like this one. Yeah, most <laughs> likely. But I'm glad. I'm glad we did this tonight. I'm glad we had time to do I this. Too. Yeah. Hello friends, so, oh, gosh, I thought I had my glasses on, so I'm currently editing the video, and I just want to thank you, thank you everyone for listening to Tabs, Layla's, and I's just perspective on the positives of epilepsy, so from this, this part forward, it's basically us just rambling just rambling, talking, just talking as friends, and I'm not going to edit it out because I I just love how we are when we talk together, so if you want to just stop the video now, then go for it, but if you want to keep on listening to us talk, then go for it. Peace out. I'm glad all this had time too as well. I think it I'm gonna. I'm going to end up waking up earlier tomorrow morning to study though go to bed <laughs> no <laughs> study Layla it's study. go to bed it's night it's only uh 9 16 only yeah only <laughs> what we can't dog our little sister no yeah. you cannot <laughs> we gotta we gotta <laughs> you're physically not allowed to <laughs> Physically. Gotta study and go to bed. You know what? Make me. If you can make me, I'll go to bed. Okay. Mm. Dang. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not going to bed. <laughs> See it. So I guess that concludes episode one of our podcast. Ooh, wee. Perfect. I'm acting like I actually know French. Oh, that's a joke. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> wee oui, wee oui, baguette. Ooh, I want bread. <laughs> I want some expired bread now. What? I want some expired bread now. You know, I want some expired eggs now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. No expired food. What about some expired barbecue sauce, Carlos? Does that sound good? Kind of. Kind of. It had a nice sweet flavor. Sweet and dirty. 
You what? Say that again. Sweet, dirty, and sour. Meat, dirt, and flour? Yeah. Sweet, what? dirty, and sour. Sweet, dirty, and sour? Yeah. Oh, it's... I thought you said meat, dirty, and flour. I mean... Uh, I thought the same thing as when I started laughing Meat, dirty, so flour. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it just means something. I mean, that too. I mean, it's expired... Meat, dirty, flour. It's expired barbecue sauce, so... Maybe. <laughs> Y'all have me laughing so hard, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna I edit this can. out. This is not... I, gonna be edited out do you ever have that feeling yes yes yeah yeah i'm glad i'm not the only one because it's super annoying yeah dude i'm hungry no you're not right. yeah i am you want to bet? I want expired food. Okay, uh, meet me behind seven, no, not seven eleven. uh, Sheets. Meet me, meet me behind your nearest Sheets, the what? gas station, you know? No. Sheets. What's Sheets? You don't? Are you serious? Okay, like, what about Publix? Like shits? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, uh, no. What about Publix? Do you have a Publix near you? Um, no. We have a Chevron. What the crap is a Chevron? You don't have that a Chevron? Like a car. That sounds like a car. That's a gas station. <laughs> what the crap? I guess you don't have that. I guess it's like the same thing as shits and Publix. No. <laughs> okay, so tabs, you know, <laughs> sheets is right. Publix is not a, ga- a gas station. It's a store. Oh, it's a store. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do they sell? <laughs> like food and shit? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's like Walmart. Really? Yeah. Like expired food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually buy like expired shit and it's cheaper. Why would you buy it? That would explain why you have expired Too stuff. many, yeah. I mean, my mom and I go to this one bread store, and you can buy like four dollar bread for a dollar seventy five. It's like an outlet. What? Yeah. That's not good. I mean, it's not expired yet, but it's it'll be like expired like next week. So you have to eat it fast. It's really okay. good. Okay. This you is why you do. never expired food, Carlos. Exactly. I mean, I don't only eat expired food. I'm not disturbed. <laughs> Hey, hey, did you know that while serving a life sentence for murder, James D. French killed his own cellmate because he was afraid of suicide and wanted to be executed. His last words were, how about this for a headline for tomorrow's newspaper, French Fries? I want French fries. Layla, why do you love so <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why do you know this? Can you just read that? Yeah, I read it from an Instagram page. Oh my god. Yeah. It'd be pretty bad. Okay. Bumber Bifteen. Berber Bing Book Bed is. Babas Bing Booba Bomb. Bumber Berber Bing Berber. Biz Bum Bodies Book Bum Biz. The best difference out. Bye bye, be bye boo bat. Will y'all stop making me laugh so hard? I'm crying, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Is that like some shit you have to like read when you like? No, I, the, I didn't. I didn't read that. You like point the phone to a mirror, and then it like shows you. No, I didn't an read actual that. sentence. No. no, I have a memorized. <laughs> Do you have a memorized? <laughs> 
Yeah, I spent too much time on the internet. This is all gonna be on the, in the video. What it is? It's gonna be a 28, 28 minute okay. video. Uh, oh, excuse me. That better be in the video too. <laughs> I just felt like a warning, like, oh, hey guys, you can you can watch up to 20, 20 minutes, and then you can turn it off. No, no, tell them that if you don't want to hear us just joking around, then you can turn it off. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to be inspired, watch up to 21 minutes. If you want to lose your inspiration. Be weirded out. Yeah, if you want to just hear us fucking around, watch the rest. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Michelle Obama is my dad. Layla, I always count on you to make me laugh. Michelle Obama's probably more is probably more ripped than my dad. Damn. What'd you say? Michelle Obama's probably more ripped than my dad. <laughs> she lifts. Dude, she lifts. You can't you can't discount that. She lifts. Dang. It's true. I didn't even know that. <laughs> He's probably more ripped than all of us combined. Seriously. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, probably. Let's just say bye to the let's say bye to the subs real quick <laughs> before we oh. go wild. Yeah, we never said bye. Yeah, right. true, true. Thanks for listening Goodbye, to people. us. Goodbye, subs. <laughs>